A Product Development Guide Chapter 1 Product Development Guide New Product Development Info Most of the inventions in history were not orchestrated or planned out. They were born out of necessity, chance, and serendipity. Nowadays, we have entire corporate departments for new product development or research as they call it. They have meetings with up to a dozen or more people all planning a new product together. They know the end result, what the new product is. They have to figure out how to build it. In contrast, if you go back to history, you'll see most inventions or innovations were made by individuals, usually on chance, a moment of revelation. You can go all the way back to Archimedes in the bathtub saying Eureka to Gutenberg who watched grapes being squeezed for wine then created the printing press based on that. It was the same with the steam engine, TV, post-it notes, etc. The guy who invented the microwave oven did so after he noticed the heat around radar machines. You have to be creative and open to new experiences enough to look at alternative ways to do things. Check out cbc.ca slash nature of things for a look at serendipity in inventions. Companies nowadays have a set procedure for product development. The basic process is as follows. 1. Generate as many ideas as possible from employees, customers, and focus groups. 2. Pick the few good ones. 3. Do some preliminary development, build a prototype, possibly do some market research and product testing. 4. Have another analysis to determine whether to continue or not. 5. If you go ahead, watch the customers, get customer feedback and improve the product. 6. Products have a life cycle. First a few pioneers buy it then when the price goes down the mainstream buys it. After that, it fades away unless there's a new model created. Anybody can have good ideas but so what? An idea is worthless if you don't have the money to develop it. You have to either have the guts to risk your own money or attract a potential investor to risk his or hers and that's tough, finding someone willing to take a chance on you for any idea no matter how good it sounds because that's the way life works. People are very, very conservative with new ideas because they're unproven. They have no track record. Ask three main questions of any idea you come across. 1. Why create this product? 2. What will the consumers slash customers think of it? 3. How can I sell it to them? There are two types of products. 1. Totally original, break the ones like computer game consoles or personal computers. 2. Platform ones like high definition and widescreen TVs evolving from TVs, the laptop, and Blackberry evolving from computers. Where's the best price point between greed because you have an original product and can charge what you want versus charging a price where you make less per unit but can sell a lot more units? After you create your product and sell it, look for additional products to sell with it. For computers, it's software, printers, external hard drives, etc. For iPods, it's music. For game consoles, it's games. Encourage both your employees and customers to generate ideas. This is as simple as having an ideas forum on your company website or sponsoring a monetary award program offering money for ideas you use. There are plenty of brainstorming and mind mapping creativity training programs around to try to teach groups of people to think creatively and generate new ideas. You can buy a buy a book or software for this, check out number 653 to number 659 at the library or hire a creativity expert to come in and teach a class or give a seminar. If you got a patented product and some big company wants buy you out, license your product or partner with you, take it because starting a company from scratch is hard work no matter how great the product is. Product development requires teamwork. Read a business book or two on business teamwork. Constantly get customer reviews to improve your product. The pulse of society changes. It's called the zeitgeist. At one time, hula hoops, yo-yos, surfing, and muscle cars were mainstream interests. Now they're not. You have to constantly assess the zeitgeist. Fitness equipment was big in the 1980s but nowadays, 
nobody pays attention to the new infomercials about fitness products. Self-help is gone down the tubes too. I noticed Tony Robbins trying to repackage his shtick for a third time but the infomercial didn't last too long on TV because people are wise to it, that it's basic goal setting crap that's elementary and not the way life really works. After you've created your new product, the same old generic rules for salesmanship and running a business apply. There's no magic formula for that. Read any books at hashtag 650 hashtag 659 at the library or read my two business focused books. If it sells well in one area, it could sell well globally. You'll get copycats so if you got a patent, you'll have to decide whether to take them to court or just focus on being the leader and getting the most market share because lawsuits take a lot of time and money. Try hashtag 658.575 at the library. PDMA.org, Product Development and Management Association. Original Products Info. Be a pioneer. Everyone is selling everyone else's products but everyone should strive for developing their own products too. It may take a few months or even years to determine your particular niche, however, you should know the talents you possess inside yourself and what your own capabilities are. What are your hobbies and interests? What would you like to do more than anything else and would you do it if you were not getting paid? Try taking an existing product and changing it a little. If you sell vitamins, for instance, you could sell them in individual packets and label them for each day of the week. Use the vitamins from the company you are working with but the individual packets and labels would be your own product. The real way to be successful is to develop your own product whatever it may be and market it on your own and through catalog houses and major retailers. With information or fiction, if you could write the slam dunk bestseller, a major publisher will pick it up and sell it worldwide. By being the originator, the manufacturer, publisher, creator, or prime source for whatever you are selling, you're in control and you make the money. These are the people who are making the major portion of profits. You could be one of them. It's not as difficult as you might think. First of all, we're not talking about establishing a multi-million dollar manufacturing plant employing a few hundred people. Nor are we talking about a publishing house that prints volumes of books on huge printing presses. You can become a mini publisher or manufacturer on a very small scale yet with the capacity of turning out as much product as you can sell. Start small and work your way up. The creator of Hawaiian Tropic Suntan Lotion started by mixing his batches in a tub in his garage. It's not enough merely to be able to make something. It should be something that nobody else is offering to the public. It doesn't have to be totally unique but it should incorporate some characteristic to distinguish it from the competition. Whatever it is, it should be something that you can turn out in a matter of seconds or just a few minutes to keep costs low. People who have created one product have gotten rich by selling it to millions of people. Refer to the earlier section about getting rich and finding freedom. Consider the following points. When I go to a newsstand, what kind of magazines appeal to me? What kind of books do I really like to read? When I daydream, what do I daydream about? What do I do with my free time? How do I spend my evenings? What do I do on weekends? What do I do on my vacation? What one subject interests me more than any other subject in the world? If I didn't have to work for a living, how would I spend my time? If I could go back to college, what subjects would I take? What kind of products do I like to purchase? Once you have honestly answered all these questions, you will see a pattern emerging. When you have finished, pay a visit to your local library. Go to the reference desk and ask to see the latest edition of the writer's market or go to the number 808 section and look for it. Study the table of contents which lists all the main categories of magazines currently being printed. Decide which category interests you beyond all others. It is in that market that you will be most at home and it is there that you will be most successful. Now go back to the reference desk and ask for a periodical directory like Ulrich's or the standard periodical directory. Find the sections you're interested in, copy down some websites for magazines. Write to each of them on your letterhead if possible. 
if you don't have a letterhead, you will still hear from most of them. Tell them you are starting a business, specializing in related products and ask them for a sample copy of their publications, along with their advertising rates. When you start receiving your sample copies, save them and save the advertising rate cards. While you are waiting for these to arrive, go to the magazine stacks at the library and look through related magazines. Study the articles. They will show you what the readers are interested in and they will give you clues as to what the readers want to buy. The articles are doing two things. They are printing articles about subjects which the readers are already interested but they are also creating new interests in the minds of the readers. Can you create a product that readers will want as a result of reading those articles? Make a list of the kinds of people you would like to sell it to, for example, doctors, waitresses, farmers, gun collectors, etc. Then go back and ask yourself what you could do to your product to make it appeal to each individual group. Put yourself in your customer's shoes for a while. Study your market thoroughly and never stop studying it. Most successful people read dozens of magazines every month. They know what their customers are thinking about, what they need and what they will buy. Successful people are interested in the needs and wants of their customers first. They understand that if they concentrate on those, profits will flow naturally. Those who think only of profits soon pass by the wayside. Create something new and exciting. Create something useful and worthwhile. Create something you yourself would want to buy. Existing products. Most successful products in business are not. Wamslam innovations like Gutenberg's. Printing press or Edison's light bulb. Most are small modifications to currently existing. Products good enough to attract customers. Ask yourself the following questions about any product. How can I make this product better, faster, stronger, cheaper? Make this product cheaply? Make the production process better? Find a new use for this product? Make it safer? Add new features to it? Combine it with other existing products to make it better? Make it look better? Make the design better? Make it easily available worldwide? Make it easy to clean? Make it bigger or smaller? Make it easy to repair? Make it so it's easy to replace a part rather than have to buy a new one? Make it slower or faster? Make it stronger? Make it lighter? Make it easier to use? Make it more convenient? Make it cheaper? Make it easier to transport or store. Make it louder or quieter. Make use of stuff that's currently waste into. Something productive. Prototype manufacturer slash hire an industrial designer. Inventors. Dead website slash od slash prototype slash a slash prototype dot htm. Pick up thilitterproducts.com, Nova Scotia. ASK.alibaba.com slash Q slash 8003573336 hyphen how hyphen do hyphen I hyphen find hyphen prototype hyphen maker hyphen from hyphen China hyphen mainland.html capitalpattern.com ec21.com slash ec hyphen market slash toy underscore prototype dot html ecplaza.net slash prototype hyphen makers hyphen hyphen everything dot html ehow.com slash how underscore 4854168 underscore someone hyphen make hyphen prototype dot html en.allexperts.com slash q slash inventing hyphen new hyphen products hyphen 1406 slash manufacture hyphen prototype dot htm enhance pd.com gizmomacker.com globalsarces.com slash manufacturer slash vcd hyphen maker dot html globalspec.com slash industrial hyphen directory slash plastic underscore prototype underscore makers globalspec.com slash industrial hyphen directory slash prototype underscore maker home.att.net slash castle island imold.com imold.com slash company slash rapid plus sign prototype dot htm inventioncity.com slash prototypes dot html 
inventionconvention.com inventorspot.com slash prototype underscore or underscore drawing jobs.aol.com slash jobs hyphen by hyphen title slash prototype hyphen model hyphen maker hyphen jobs kaleidoscope chicago.com ni.com plastic.com creating plastic prototypes inexpensively procimink.com protocam.com slash html slash prototype hyphen manufacturer dot html rapid prototyping dot net solid dash scape dot com star dash prototype dot com trade key dot com slash ks hyphen prototype hyphen maker trade tt dot com slash prototype hyphen maker hyphen products Trade tt.com slash prototype hyphen maker hyphen products slash 2.html. Tron ICS zone.com, electronics prototype. Zoomrp.com. Industrial design websites. Yankodesign.com. Machinesign.com. Aigia.org, graphic arts. Arts-accredit.org. Arts-accredit.org slash nasity. National Association of Schools of Arts and Design ACID.org, Interior Design Core77.com Coroeflot.com Designatic.com Fidear.org, Interior Design Education Research IDSA.org, Industrial Design IIDA.org, Interior Design Industrial Designers Society of America 1142 East Walker Road, Great Falls, Virginia, 22066, 703 759 0100. Fax, 703 759 7679. IDSA at Errols.com, IDSA.org. Product development websites. Most of these websites are consultants or companies that help you improve something that you have invented or built. Product Development and Management Association 15,000, Commerce Parkway Hashtag C Mount Laurel, New Jersey, 08054 PDMA.org Deskeng.com, Magazine for Designing Products 2N2PD.com A2Etechnologies.com Embedded Product Development Services AdventProduct.com, 800-255-9500, Free Inventors Kit ag.iastate.edu slash centers slash ftcsc slash pages slash proddev.htm, Food Technology Commercial Space Center Product Development Competition AllProduct.com, the world's best products directory for volume buyers BeerWrestlerGroup.com cdr.stanford.edu slash share, product development cnd.gov slash publications cfsd.org.uk, center for sustainable design cimdata.com, worldwide product life cycle management circlumdicle.com, medical products coastlinetraining.com slash product information consumerreview.com, product reviews cqm.org slash cqmjournal.nsf davison54.com davison54.com, Davison can help you prepare and present your idea or invention to corporations for licensing. designcatapult.com designcatapult.com, industrial design, mechanical engineering, and prototyping services. designermax.com developer.apple.com slash business slash product development econ-mit.edu slash events en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash collaborative underscore product underscore development en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash flexible underscore product underscore development en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash new underscore product underscore development en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash pharmaceutical underscore product underscore development en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash product underscore development engineer-cad.com 
fastroot.com slash product development h32ng.com ide.com product development management infoworld.com slash product underscore guide inocastincture.com international.visa.com slash fb product development and testing inventorspublishing.com inventsai.com slash idea how to patent an idea ipdgroup.com internet product development group inc ishr.com slash v7 hyphen product hyphen development dot htm offshore software product development johnstark.com slash npr dot html kw.edu product development online courses lean dash product dash development dot com logicpd.com lwassociation.com new product development macdevcenter.com macintosh development open source development macromedia.com slash go slash gnav tray underscore products underscore home mantaro.com electronics product development services for leading high-tech companies marketdirections.com product development and research MiamiMicro.com slash Primavera slash products. MIT Sloan.mit.edu slash exechead slash app slash courses slash product hyphen design dot PHP. MSDN.microsoft.com slash developer centers. Nationalanalysts.com slash marketing slash product hyphen development dot ASP. NetApp.com slash solution slash prod underscore de evil dot HTML. New dash product dash development dot us. New product dynamics dot com. NPD dash solutions dot com. New product development solutions. NPD dash solutions dot com slash pd forum dot html. Nizaes dot cornell dot edu slash nec face slash product slash product underscore main dot html. Omnica dot com. Medical devices. Omnica dot com. Product development for the medical, consumer and industrial fields. OPDF.com, optical product development. Opus360.com slash solution slash 3. PDBA.org, product development benchmarking association. PDCinc.com. PDCinc.com, product development consulting. PDMA.org, new product development information. PDMA.org, Product Development and Management Association. Pivotint.com, Product Design and Manufacturing. PMI.org, Project Management Institute. PMIBookstore.org. Primavera underscore new underscore product underscore development slash. Prod-dev.com, Product Development Institute. Productdevelopment.co.za, South Africa. Product-development-process.com PTC.com, the product development company. Roundtable.com SAP.com slash solution slash NPDI slash index.epx Sequentlearning.com SDRiverimports.com, have products produced and packaged in Asia at lower cost. Teamsdesign.com VertexPD.com web.mit.edu web.mit.edu slash CIPD Center for Innovation in Product Development webdevreviews.com web development product reviews whitelightdesign.com product design prototype development product development training courses these companies offer training programs for a fee Try either your local adult continuing education department, find info at your local library, or the engineering department of the local college for a course on inventing or product development. 280group.com, product management training and product marketing training. AEDforsuccess.com. BEA.com, BEA workshop. Ben95.com slash ebook slash SOP underscore training dot htm employee training and development with standard operating procedure. Campden.co.uk slash training slash fmt14.htm 
product development, from concept to launch, training course. Canonadvantage.com slash meeting underscore speaker dot html. Cranfield.ac.uk slash so slash cpd slash ppae hyphen ipd dot htm, course in product development, integration engineering. Developer.apple.com slash business slash product development. Globalbrain.com slash courses slash courses dot html. Hawaii.edu slash connection slash npd underscore workshop dot htm, new product development workshop. IEA.org, electricity and development workshop. ILO.org slash public slash English slash employment slash and slash papers slash ola dot htm, commercialized training product development, lessons from the trenches. IN.gov slash tourism slash grant slash product dot html, Indiana Product Development Workshop MIT Sloan.mit.edu, Product Design, Development, and Management NickWeb.com slash speaking hyphen seminars.html NPD-Solutions.com, New Product Development Training OnlineHome.us, Product Development Seminar PDWLLC.com, Product Development Workshop procntech.com slash ppd slash index dot php3, Profibus product development training course. processgroup.com slash cycle time dot htm, accelerating product development workshop. productinnovator.com, product management training course. productivityinc.com slash seminars. product-masters.com slash workshops. Prospects.ac.uk, course title, Clothing Product Development. QMISolutions.com.au slash article.asp question mark 8 equals sign 148, Lean Product Development Workshop. QRPD.com, Rapid PD. RCE Biodefense.org slash GLRCE, GLRCE Product Development Workshop Information. Roundtable.com slash event underscore center slash lpd slash lpd dot html. Sequentlearning.com slash course hyphen detail dot php question mark the underscore id equals sign 2, course in pd. Sequentlearning.com slash courses dot php. Safian.com slash events underscore online seminars dot asp. Stage-gate.com slash seminars dot html. Training-classes.com Treyes-journal.com New Product Development Mini Course UGS.com slash form slash hands underscore on dot shtml Hands on Product Development Workshop Center for Industrial Development 1874, Lowell Circle Brunswick, Ohio, 44212 216-273-3716 Educators Network Incorporated. 181, Old Post Road. Southport, CT 066-6490-203-254-7068. Goal Incorporated. 15116, Springview Street. Tampa, Florida, 33624. 813-969-3298. Ideation Associates. The Problem Solving People 808 South Meadow Lane Golden Valley, MN 554166 612-377-5385 Out of Your Mind and Into the Marketplace 3031 Cold Way Number 223 Fullerton, California 92633 714-739-1777 Dragon Corp. 365, Convention Way Redwood City, California, 94063 415-365-1833 The Training Co. 3080, Alcott Street Hashtag 2055B Santa Clara, California, 95054 408 727 5807 Training Solutions 
2314 Lincoln Park. W. Hashtag 18N. Chicago, Illinois, 60614. 312-880-5118. Product Testing Info. As far as I know, there are three types of product testing. 1. Employees within a company known either as product testers or quality control workers inspect every nth widget to ensure a certain standard. The highest standard is that all widgets are virtually the same. 2. Testers within a company or from an outside company test a new product and give their opinion of how good it is, etc. 3. Independent testers and consumer groups test products solely for how safe they are. The range spans the spectrum as to what product testers do. Some eat the product that a food company produces, some people do. Extensive tests on the safety features of cars. Many product testers work for the company that produces the product, others are independent. Like Consumers Union, the group who publishes the magazine Consumer Reports, consumerreports.org. Most of these positions are trained on the job. For complex products like electronic components, tradesmen in the field like electronic technicians usually assume the role of quality control inspectors. eHow.com, how to participate in a product test. DecisionAnalyst.com slash services slash testdesigns.di, techniques for product testing. DesignLore.com, new product design engineering and product testing services eeproductcenter.com slash test hyphen measure, design information about the latest ICS and electronic components for engineers. electronicsweekly.com slash job slash browse slash IC underscore manufacturing underscore process underscore product underscore test dot htm. emsl.com, identify unknown material powders, fibers, plastics, liquids polymers. and gadget.com. FutureTest.com, provides engineering consulting services including new product development, test, and R&D of a manufactured product. Imrutist.com, Ithaca Materials Research and Testing, providing mechanical testing, chemical and failure analysis, machining, polymer analysis and environmental simulation testing. Infoworld.com slash test center. InhomeProductTesting.com, in-home product testing. Intertech-CB.com, products testing laboratories material and chemical analysis. MicroZCellTD.com, engineering services company providing expertise in design for test, DFT, built-in self-test, BIST, IC test program development. NewDontech.com slash careers.asp question mark ID equal sign 28, product test engineer. Antiainc.com, inspects modular houses. Testproducts.com, national safety products. Westcoastlabs.com, product test reports and certification. American Society for Quality. 611 East Wisconsin Avenue. POG 3005. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53201-3005. ASQ.org. National Tooling and Machining Association. 9300 Livingston Road. FT. Washington, Maryland, 20744. NTMA.org. Product Safety Test Websites. You can test products on your own then send them to Consumer Reports, Underwriter Laboratories, Good Housekeeping, and a few other places. If they fail your product, that's a positive thing because you can fix the defects until they meet their standard then you've got proof that you did everything right as far as safety goes. cpsc.gov govmark.com fire test instruments flammability test services test products for how fireproof they are. Chapter 2 Licensing, lazy way to get rich. Licensing a product or idea. If somebody has an idea or a product that for one reason or another, they can't financially develop to put into the marketplace, are too lazy to do it or never realized that particular opportunity was there, 
somebody else can step in and buy the rights to use that particular idea or product in the marketplace for a certain region and certain length of time. Licensing starts with a simple agreement between two people who want to do business together, one grants the rights to some intellectual property he owns to someone else for a certain period of time in some region for a fee which is usually a royalty for every unit sold bearing your intellectual property. If you have ever seen the documentary movie, The Triumph of the Nerds, you would see the story of a geeky computer nerd named Bill Gates who saw an opportunity to make a deal with IBM who needed an operating system for their many computers because the creators of disk operating system slash DOS were too apathetic to see a big opportunity when it hit them in the face. These IBM guys came to Bill looking for an operating system. Bill said that's not what we do but I know who does. He sent them down the road to his buddy's place who could care less that IBM was at his door so the ISM guys went back to Bill who bought DOS from his buddy for $50,000 but didn't sell it to IBM. He licensed it in a non-exclusive deal and he licensed it to all their competitors who made IBM clones. He eventually replaced it with Windows and nowadays, for every company that makes computers and installs Windows into them, he gets a licensing fee for every computer with Windows in it. A licensing agreement is a contract where you grant someone the rights to use your patent slash idea for a specific period of time in a specific geographic region then when it expires, the deal is either renewed or cancelled. This can be either for a regional area or on up to worldwide rights. You keep the rights to your product but give them the right to sell it in a certain market like the United States for a certain length of time in a royalty agreement which means that you get a percentage, usually 1 to 10 percent of the price of every unit of your product sold. You could conceivably have several licensing agreements with several different companies for different geographical areas. An assignment agreement is a contract where you essentially sell all patent rights to the person forever, usually for an upfront lump sum. Inventors typically get from 1 to 5% on a licensing agreement. Start by asking for 10% and let the licensee bid you down. Always get a clause to back out if the company gets in financial trouble. Another view of licensing is a company that has a good name and for one reason or another, it either stops producing its product but licenses the name to someone else or it gives other companies the right to manufacture its products and put their name on it. There are several basic ways to profit from licensing. The hardest but most profitable is to create something out of thin air that will have either pop culture appeal or an appeal as a trademark symbol of knowledge to the intellectual business crowd. If you do something like promote a sport, an event, or even make sporting goods, if you attach a logo to it and it gets popular, you can license it out. If you're smart, you're always on the lookout for good ideas out there that nobody seems to have capitalized on but could work. Bill Gates started it all by buying dose from someone else. The Smurfs were cartoon characters in Europe for 20 years before some guy licensed the rights and brought them to America. There could be a cartoon character in China right now that could work well worldwide if somebody had the guts to license it then create a market for it. Acquire the license to someone else's idea and build it up from scratch. Watch for trends. Read the newspapers and come up with ideas that could be licensed and put on products. Ask yourself if you think anybody has the worldwide rights to that concept. All it takes is an email to ask. Do you think you could make a go of it? Most patent holders do not have licensing agreements for their products. Some enterprising guy would first contact the patent holder to ask if he's interested in licensing his product then contact manufacturers and ask if they would be interested in producing such a product and licensing the idea from you. You license it from the inventor then license it to these guys. Many authors with best-selling non-fiction information books have not parlayed this information into a licensing deal with a seminars company. Licensing is more convenient than franchising because there are no government regulations involved. You simply make a deal with the other guy and write it out in a licensing agreement. If you have a product that you think might tie in with what a major corporation is doing, go for it, send them a letter, see what happens. 
They might think you're a pesky small fry but if your idea is good, you have nothing to lose. Look for manufacturers and companies that sell products similar to yours. Tenacity and aggression are the keys. If you believe in what you've done, you have to keep selling yourself. If you have gift items, refer to my shopping book for contacts with many companies who sell gift items. Refer to my shopping book for lists of companies that sell just about any product you might want to hawk. Licensing can be exclusive to one company or non-exclusive meaning you sell it to several companies who compete with each other in the marketplace. In many cases, the creator's product is just sitting there making a modest amount of money or making nothing. You just happen to see it on the patent websites, usb.gov, or in a magazine. In these cases, you can buy the licensing rights for a song. Royalty rates generally go from 3% on the low end up to 10%. The top players like Disney get 15% for licensing out Mickey Mouse and the others. If you're getting a licensing deal, get an agent or licensing attorney to negotiate for you. Don't feel intimidated by seeking out licensing agreements with companies. The world is based on new products. Everybody's looking. If you can't get a licensing deal up front, start up a business. If the product is good, the big boys will find out about it and offer you a deal. Any idea or specialized information is licensable. It just has to be packaged right. Consider the John Gray Venus and Mars shtick. The books have been licensed into audiobooks slash books on tape and the seminars have been licensed to people who give workshops under the Venus and Mars banner. Clothing licensing is huge. Aside from the Nike logo, watch rap videos sometimes for plenty examples of licensed clothing. Licensingzecrets.com Multiplestreamsoftincome.com Keyword Kenker USA-Canada.les.org Network of Licensing Professionals Annual Licensing Trade Show ExpoCon Management 7. Cambridge Drive POG 1019 Trumbull, Connecticut, 06611 203-374-1411 International Licensing Industry Merchandisers Association 350 Fifth Avenue Number 6210 NYC 10118 212-244-1944 Licensing via Pop Culture For the most part, pop culture licensing is something that big companies and organizations with lots of money do but small timers have gotten licensing deals from the big timers by asking for them. Before MTV knew the value of licensing, some enterprising guy got a licensing deal to sell pagers and cell phones with the MTV logo on them. Young people bought them in droves. The guy got rich. MTV made money in royalties. The concept of pop culture licensing is simple. Somebody creates something within the realm of pop culture that appears cool to others. It could be a character, a logo, a book, a band, a TV network, etc. People who manufacture normal products ask the owners of these pop culture products if they license the right to put that particular image onto their products for a year or two to make them look cooler therefore more appealing to consumers so they sell more units, make more money, give some of it to the pop culture guys and everybody is happy. Licensing via pop culture is all about having or creating a product line that's related to something in the current mass media pop culture. Protecting it legally via trademark, patent, copyright, etc., contacting the producers or owners of the TV show, movie, character, etc., and asking them to license you to sell your product with the likeness of what they own that you want. There was a cartoon series on MTV. Some guy created a set of greeting cards for it, sent the stuff in to the producers of the show and got a licensing agreement with them. What that? means technically is that they license you to be the official, exclusive maker and seller of the particular product for a fee for a certain period of time then you distribute to major retail chains. On shopping TV and anywhere else you can. Anything can sport a logo like beach towels, belt buckles, 
t-shirts, etc. Well-known celebrities license their names to various consumer projects for royalties and fees. How about Jack Nicklaus Gold Clubs, Johnny Carson Suits, Olsen Twins Clothing, Martha Stewart Clothing, Carmen Electra Lingerie, Kathy Lee Clothing, etc. Do you think these people have anything to do with the manufacturing process of these products? Chances are they don't. They just signed a contract that gave some company the right to put their name on their products for a hefty fee. Character licensing is huge. Some 50-year-old Disney characters are still on everything from bed sheets to lunch buckets. The Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Simpsons, The Smurfs, and The Power Rangers all made a mint in licensing deals for their creators. Somebody else manufactured a bunch of products, put these characters on them then sold them. As for movies, find out in advance which movies are gonna be produced by reading about it in entertainment publications like Variety and Entertainment Weekly then try to make a deal. With the producers. Anything you see out there, if you get an idea for a product for it, write a query letter to the producers of the show and go for it. If you live near a big university, you might try creating products and clothing with their logo on it and then get it licensed. For example, if you created a nifty alligator statuette, you might be able to sell a lot of them to the stores around Gainesville where the University of Florida is. Oriexpress.com, 800-457 Oryx, the entertainment marketing sourcebook, the EMP licensing letter. USA-Canada.les.org, Network of Licensing. Professionals. Chapter 3. Sell Ideas and Products. Sell your ideas. If you have good ideas, some company may be willing to pay you big bucks for some of them. Your saleable ideas could be something tangible or intangible. Ideas include such things as mechanical things, chemical compounds, designs, works of art, advertising, and business plans, ideas for improving a design, flavor, etc., of an existing product or service. If your ideas will increase production, increase sales, or improve the product, companies are willing to pay substantial money when they accept it. Although you might be able to sell an idea for an existing product, it's probably best to create your own product and go from there. If you have a product and expect royalties, chances are you'll have to go to the companies face to face but you can start the process with a letter like the one below. You must know how to protect the ideas that you generate. Ideas that are made public by word of mouth or even in writing, become public property unless you first make an agreement to retain all rights to your ideas. Let's say that you have an idea for increasing the sales of an existing product for company A. Write them a letter similar to this one. Gentlemen. I have developed a new idea for increasing the sales of your product. If you are interested in the full details I shall forward them to you upon receipt of the below signed agreement. Agreement to review idea. We, the undersigned, agree to receive in confidence full details about an idea for increasing the sales of widgets as submitted by, your name. It is further understood that we assume no responsibility whatever with respect to features which can be demonstrated to be already known to us. We also agree not to divulge any details of the idea submitted without permission of, your name, or to make use of any feature or information of which, your name, is the originator without payment of compensation, to be fixed by negotiation with, your name, or his lawful representative. It is specifically understood that, in receiving the idea of, your name, it will be reviewed in confidence and within a 60-day period, we will report to, your name, the results of our findings and will advise whether or not we are interested in negotiating for the purchase of the rights to use said idea. Thank you company signature. Have them sign both copies and return one to you then you must submit complete details of your idea to the company. After they review your idea, they must, by law, follow the instructions of the agreement. To increase your chances of having ideas accepted, spend lots of time preparing complete, minute details before you submit them. This is the key. Include illustrations of drawings if it's necessary to get the story over. Act like a pro and they'll treat you like one. 
sell a food idea. abc.net.au slash catapult slash askexpert slash s2517573.htm, how do I sell my product idea to a food company? kinds of foodcom slash 2011 slash 05 slash how hyphen do hyphen I hyphen pitch hyphen my hyphen food hyphen product hyphen to hyphen a hyphen grocery hyphen store dot html. Sell your product idea websites. Davison.com, help prepare and present your new product ideas to corporations. LombardiInvent.com, marketing and licensing experts only paid when successful. EnhancePD.com IdeaProductDesign.com, product marketing and licensing, product design. FindProductIdeas.com eHow.com slash product hyphen ideas. eHow.com, how to sell a product idea. InnovationTools.com RQRiley.com slash new hyphen prod.htm, how to develop, protect and market new product ideas. Marinersoftware.com slash about slash ideas, have an idea for an iPhone, iPad, or Mac OS X app. Productidea.com, a no-cost online marketplace developed to connect buyers and sellers of new technologies in the consumer product industry. Ideastorm.com 999ideas.com slash new hyphen product hyphen ideas dot html Idea2product.wordpress.com SimpleJoe.com, many Simple Joe products have been suggested or improved by customer suggestions. What's yours? InventForMoney.com IdeaToProductTLA.org, IdeaToProduct Latin America EvHead.com slash 2007 slash 12 slash how hyphen to hyphen evaluate hyphen new hyphen product hyphen idea dot ASP InventionPowerKit.com PeoplePerHour.com Megascopes.com FourHourWorkWeek.com slash blog slash 2007 slash 11 slash 26 slash a hyphen beginners hyphen guide hyphen how hyphen to hyphen rent hyphen your hyphen ideas hyphen to hyphen fortune hyphen 500 hyphen companies hyphen plus hyphen video. IDEABUIR.com InventorsPot.com slash license underscore or underscore sell eHow.com, how to sell a product idea. Diasi.com slash inventors hyphen resources slash inventors hyphen guide slash where hyphen can hyphen I hyphen sell hyphen my hyphen product hyphen idea. Answers.yahoo.com, I want to sell my idea onto a company. Ideaabuir.com Dimwit.com slash show article dot ASPX question mark ID equal sign 29, will my invention sell? 10online.org slash art slash 0402.html CelloNTV.com Moneyforideas.com, seeking great new inventions and product ideas for licensing. EZNarticles.com, how to sell my idea. ProductCoach.com NewIdeaTrade.com Inventors Dead website slash od slash funding licensing marketing slash selling underscore ideas underscore how underscore to underscore fund underscore market underscore or underscore license dot htm. Quirky dot com, your product ideas come in, our community works on them, we sell your product worldwide, and 30 cents of every dollar brought in gets distributed amongst you and the product's influencers. Patent my idea online dot com. Clickbank.com slash blog slash tag slash sell hyphen product. Clickbank.com slash sell underscore products dot html. She's ingenious.org slash public slash department 37.cfm market and sell your new product or idea. She's ingenious.org. Smedio.com slash sell hyphen idea hyphen product hyphen service hyphen green. Ponokeo.com. Find a designer to design your product idea, then make it and sell it with your own personal factory. InventionPowerKit.com AMS-Inc.com, the online brainstorming tool. IdeaToProduct.org slash UT, UT Austin Competition. IdeaToProduct.org slash Global, IdeaToProduct, Global Competition. Chapter 4 A Product Job Guide
Product Development Job Websites Professional Development and Management Association pdma.org slash page slash career underscore center pdma.org jobs.pdma.org marketingweek.com slash product hyphen service hyphen innovation entrepreneur.com slash topic slash product hyphen development American Marketing Association, AMA 130 East Randolph Street 22nd Floor Chicago, Illinois, 60601 6320 312 AMA.org Association of International Product Marketing and Management, APM 9080 Double Diamond Parkway Reno, Nevada, 89521 775-546-2024 Info at IPMM.com IPMM.com Insights Association 1156 15th Street NW, No. 700 Washington, D.C. 20005-1745 202-800-2545 InsightsAssociation.org Product Development and Management Association, PDMA 1000 Westgate Drive No. 252 St. Paul, Minnesota 55114-8679 651-290-6280 PDMA at PDMA.org PDMA.org Project Management Institute, PMI 14 Campus Boulevard Newtown Square, Pennsylvania, 19073-3299 610-356-4600 Customer care at PMI.org PMI.org Qualitative Research Consultants Association, QRCA 1000 Westgate Drive, No. 252 St. Paul, Minnesota 55114 to 8679 888 Info at qrca.org qrca.org slash default.aspx Product Management Job Websites Product Development and Management Association pdma.org Bringing the Donuts Kennerton.com slash newsletter. Mind the product. Mindtheproduct.com. Product Coalition. Productcoalition.com. Product Management Insider. Medium.com slash PM Insider. Product Management Product Management Today.com slash magazine. Product School. Productsehool.com. This is Product Management. This is ProductManagement.com Product Management Insider Medium.com slash PM Insider As Entrepreneur.com slash Topic slash Product hyphen Management ProductManagement.buzz Jobs.pdma.org American Marketing Association, AMA 130 East Randolph Street 22nd Floor Chicago 60601 to 6320 IL 3125429000 AMA.org Association of International Product Marketing and Management APM 9120 Double Diamond Parkway Reno Nevada 89521 775-546-2024 Info at IPMM.com IPMM.com Insights Association 1156 15th Street NW, No. 700 Washington, D.C. 20005-1745 202-800-2545 InsightsAssociation.org Institute of Certified Professional Managers, ICPM 220, University Boulevard No. 3100 Harrisonburg, Virginia, 22801-1044 540-568-3247 
Info at icpm.biz. icpm.biz. Product Development and Management Association, PDMA. 1000, Westgate Drive No. 252. St. Paul, Minnesota 55114 to 8679. 651 290 6280. PDMA at PDMA.org. PDMA.org. Project Management Institute, PMI. 14, Campus Boulevard. New Town Square, Pennsylvania, 19073-3299-610-356-4600. Customer Care at PMI.org. PMI.org. Chapter 5. Pitching for a Job or Product. Original Methods to Get a Job. Several years ago I read a book about how to break into the entertainment industry which essentially said identify the few people who can give you the job you want then do whatever you have to, including wacky things to get noticed enough to get an interview. One guy sent some manager a cute card every day saying it's coming, it's coming, leaving it a mystery then on the fifth day, sent the guy his screenplay. Another guy had business cards made up that said free bottle of champagne to anyone who can get me an interview with JJ. Big Shot then stood in front of the building where JJ. Big Shot worked handing them out. JJ. Big Shot heard about it and gave the guy an interview saying anyone who had that much initiative must be a good worker. Some chick sent a nude picture around with her cover letter. She wanted to be a cocktail waitress. I'm not big on these tactics they sometimes call guerrilla job searching because to me they seem demeaning, tacky, cheap, cheesy, take your pick of adjectives but the thing is that they're now the buzz. They say they work. I was watching a so-called reality show which I think was scripted then acted out to look spontaneous. This one guy gets an interview with some big shot who disses him by reading his email on a big screen on the wall while the guy is talking to him so the guy comes out and says Mr. Big Shot is a member of some horse stable where his kids go to ride horses. He's got kids too so he'll join and befriend this guy then get the big real estate contract he wants. In the next few scenes they show this guy going to the horse stable with his family befriending this other guy with his family. It seemed like a big load of pretense to me but you have to admit that in today's competitive world, you have to dream up roundabout ways to get a job or accomplish what you want. About 20 years ago, I was interviewed by a guy for a job. I saw him a few weeks later at the YMCA and asked him if he remembered me. He said no. That's how it is in the real world. Some guy you spend 7 minutes or more with doesn't even remember you 3 weeks later. Of course I believe your merits should speak for themselves and for you but sometimes it's just not enough. Sometimes, just short of embarrassing yourself like the guy on YouTube.com who made the stupid video about himself as God's gift to the world, you have to think up alternative methods to get what you want. Be aware that these methods can easily backfire. You try a cheap stunt to get noticed with no backbone or substance to back it up, you're screwed. The guys at GoDaddy.com which registers website names for 9 bucks a year knew they were the cheapest but they weren't getting the market share because nobody knew they existed so they made up some TV commercials with a bust abroad and advertised them during the Super Bowl. Within a week, they gained 15 points of market share. The squeaky wheel gets the oil. Genius introverted nerds don't get noticed so they miss out on the opportunities. Some people have a natural antipathy to gimmicks or pop culture stunts like me. I can't stand gimmicky people looking for attention. If your mark is a serious person, don't even try it. To my way of thinking, cuteness went out of style right after high school. You're not marketing the next rap group to a bunch of young people. You're selling yourself for a job or pitching a new product. Think twice before you try some offbeat method just because you read about it somewhere or saw it on YouTube.com. The best way to brand yourself as a stellar worker is through your work and personality. All employers want somebody impressive, not generic. Speak through your work and who you are. No means not today but maybe next week. Job hunting is simple. 1. Discover what you're really good at. 2. Culture it. 
3. Identify the exact people and companies who can use your abilities. 4. Tell them and show them what you can do. The things all bosses look for are very basic. An upstanding person, no bull. You're there to work and not gossip or be frivolous. An honest person not looking to rip the company off any chance they get, even on time like sleeping on the job. A person who can speak clearly. A sociable, likable person. A person who can think on their feet enough to lead if necessary. Someone who loves the work or the action. Someone who can get along with everybody. Some TV journalism show did a study where they had a geeky introvert who had a good resume apply for the same jobs in the financial field, which is all about people contacts, and a likable, extrovert guy without much of a track record. He got the job offer way more than the other guy. It's about your look. Do you look passionate and inspired about life in general? Be innovative. Be sociable. If you have the guts to call managers cold to ask for an interview, your best chances to get past the secretary are before 9 o'clock and after 5 o'clock when she's gone and he might answer the phone. Try to get hired part-time, as a temp or as a consultant for a contract job. These are ways for managers to look at you. If they like what they see, they'll offer you a full-time job. The pitch for anything. They want a product with a huge market potential that's simple to understand. Be prepared. Be energetic. Believe and put your heart into it. Your level of passion will determine your level of success. Don't sell, tell the story. Don't overtell to the point of boredom. Act like you're not desperate, just confident. Never let people see you sweat. Study the competition. Learn about your field. Be prepared to answer any question. Look clean and neat. Don't be ruled by emotions. Be your own worst critic. Spot your own bullshit. Talk is cheap. Be a doer. Make people laugh. Be real. Be believable. Don't be over the top. You need clarity and focus. It has to be quick. It has to have an aha moment for the potential investor. Be ready for the hard questions like what exactly will the money I give you do to get you closer to your grand goal? Put yourself in the guy's spot. What questions would you ask? If you don't believe in it, it will show. Have a retail price for your product ready. Say your piece then leave the guy alone to think about it. If you try for overkill, you cheapen yourself. Don't come off like it's do or die. This guy is just one potential investor. You should believe in your product regardless of the opinions of others. Even if you get a thousand rejections, if you believe, you must keep going. Investor pitch website slash pitch your idea websites. If you're not passionate about the product, your listeners won't be. Allbusiness.com Answers.yahoo.com How do I pitch my product to a major company, safely? Answers.yahoo.com, how do I pitch my product to a multimillion dollar company? avc.com slash a underscore vc slash 2010 slash 08 slash how hyphen to hyphen pitch hyphen a hyphen product.html. blog.waxmarketing.com slash 2010 slash 06 slash 24 slash how hyphen to hyphen pitch hyphen your hyphen product hyphen to hyphen celebrities blogs.wsj.com slash venture capital slash 2010 slash 01 slash 11 slash how hyphen to hyphen pitch hyphen a hyphen venture hyphen capitalist hyphen on hyphen a hyphen napkin boostmyproduct.com slash pitch hyphen your hyphen product.html boostmyproduct.com slash trade hyphen show hyphen marketing.html businessinsider.com slash 10 hyphen ways hyphen to hyphen optimize hyphen your hyphen investor hyphen pitch hyphen time hyphen 2011 hyphen 4 countryliving.com pitch your product event geared for women ehow.com how do i pitch a product or new invention ehow.com how to pitch products to retail stores en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash elevator underscore pitch Fundingpost.com slash pitching.asp
handshake 20.com slash 2010 slash 01 slash angel hyphen investor hyphen video hyphen pitch hyphen trash dot html huffington post.com slash marty hyphen z willing slash 10 hyphen tips hyphen investor hyphen pitch hyphen time underscore b underscore 855515 dot html inc.com slash guide slash 201102 slash how hyphen to hyphen create hyphen a hyphen great hyphen powerpoint hyphen presentation dot html inventors digest.com slash archive slash 1417 what to know before you pitch your product inventorspot.com slash recent slash forum investorpitchclinic.com networkproductsguide.com Networkproductsguide.com slash hot companies. News.thomasnet.com slash imt slash archive slash 2009 slash 06 slash how hyphen to hyphen pitch hyphen to hyphen investors hyphen presentation hyphen guidelines hyphen for hyphen entrepreneurs.html. NFIB.com slash member hyphen benefits slash member hyphen benefits hyphen item slash CMSID slash 51338. Obscure.co.uk slash articles hyphen two slash preparing hyphen a hyphen product hyphen pitch. On product management.net. Openpackage.org slash product slash pitch. Perfectbusiness.com slash the perfect pitch slash speakers.cfm. Pitchmagic.com. Pitchmen.net. Pitchmyproduct.com. Prinio urpajamas.com slash media hyphen pitch hyphen sample. Scottburkun.com slash essay slash 38 hyphen how hyphen to hyphen pitch hyphen and hyphen idea. Slideshare.net slash brand cooper slash accelerate hyphen solutions hyphen investor hyphen pitch hyphen template hyphen 1365868, slarate solutions investor pitch template. Slideshare.net slash North Venture Partners slash fail hyphen one two hyphen ways hyphen to hyphen blow hyphen your hyphen investor hyphen pitch. StenelSolutions.com slash tips underscore two dot htm, investor presentation, business plan. Talkto.tv, elevator pitch. VCGate.com slash how hyphen to hyphen pitch hyphen your hyphen company hyphen to hyphen and hyphen investor dot htm. VentureHacks.com slash article slash deck. WHoysAndrewWe.com slash internet hyphen marketing slash how hyphen pitch hyphen product hyphen service. Pitch to who websites. CHR-Hanson.com slash jobs underscore career slash unsolicited underscore application slash USA.html. Searching for Einstein.com. BNN.ca, Thepich at BNN.ca. TV show. Corporate.telebrands.com slash inventors.html. UIAUSA.org. TVgoods.com. PGAshow.com slash new hyphen feature hyphen area slash inventors hyphen spotlight. Ronco.com, I don't see a place to pitch a product. Infomercial.tv, sell Ronco products. AnthonyZolivan.com. Anthony Zolivan Productions.com Anthony Zolivan.com slash pitch hyphen your hyphen idea hyphen or hyphen product. Businesspartners.com Kevin Harrington.blogspot.com Gigaum.com Sullivan Productions.com Clickbank.com slash blog slash tag slash sell hyphen product. Clickbank.com slash sell underscore products.html CelloNTV.com IDEABUIR.com EHOW.com, Pitch Product New Invention DSC.Discovery.com Slash TV Slash Pitchmen Slash Make Hyphen Million Slash Make Hyphen Millions Dot HTML EHOW.com Slash How Underscore 5805825 Underscore Pitch Hyphen Invention Hyphen Big Hyphen Corporation Dot HTML NPEX.com pxsi.com smallbusiness.cron.com slash pitch hyphen product hyphen new hyphen invention hyphen 15797.html enhancebd.com slash faq.html entrepreneur.com slash marketing slash marketing ideas slash article 201036.html 
BDAdvantage.com provides a B2B marketplace for broker dealers to share ideas and technologies, cross sell their products and services, and advertise directly to one another. Moneyforideas.com invention and product idea marketing licensing agent, Harvey Reese, no fees. Works for royalty share. Clickbank.com slash blog slash tag slash sell hyphen product. EdisonNation.com. Facebook.com slash EdisonNation. EdisonNationMedical.com. Twitter.com slash EdisonNation. Telebrands.com. Gust.com. BusinessOpportunities.com slash opportunities slash inventor hyphen seeking hyphen investors hyphen for hyphen new hyphen innovative hyphen product. CountryLiving.com, pitch your product event geared for women. NetworkProductsGuide.com Tech-Atelier.com FundFindr.tv TVGoodsInc.com, Kevin Harrington VODPod.com slash tag slash investors FarnoVision.com